Albany celebrating Pride Month today with the 2023 Capital Pride Parade and Festival. News sends Anthony Krolikowski there with the jam-packed event, and he now joins us live in the studio to see the festivities. Anthony? That's right, Michaela. Around 1,000 people came out to show their support for the LGBT plus community. Attendees say Albany has come a long way since their first Pride events. Probably the first year, we might have had 30 to 50 people on the street, and now you can't even walk or drive. Washington Park was filled with vendors and crowds enjoying the parade and music. Owner of McGeary's Irish Pub, Tess Collins, says pride is a labor of love in Albany. Without the help of local businesses and volunteers, events like these wouldn't happen. People from all ages, we band together and a lot of us volunteer our time to help out with a lot of the festivals and especially gay pride. Members of the community say New York makes them feel safe, being able to express themselves openly. Just making sure that people know that we're here, you know? It's, it sucks that there are still people that don't think that we deserve rights and all of the politics going on around the country. No matter what the future holds, local groups like Schenectady Pride say they will continue to give their support. Love is love and we love love and we're going to support love and we're going to support our spouses and our partners as much as we can. When asked what Pride meant, attendees all answered a little differently. The visibility is to be able to be seen and heard um, and it's not just a month. It's every day. Like Lady Gaga once said, we were born this way. Bingo. Yeah, just self-acceptance, self-confidence are really, really big. No matter the crowd's identity, everyone enjoyed their time at Pride. We're celebrating gay pride! Pride Month is not over in the city of Albany yet. Go to our website, news10.com, for more events coming to the Capital Region. Reporting live in studio, Anthony Krolikowski, News 10 ABC.